Hey guys, it's me Evan and welcome to another Gunpla TV review. Today we're going to look at a model from a different series than my last two reviews. This is the GAT-04 Windham from Gundam Seed Destiny. As you might be able to tell, this is not quite a Gundam, but a mass-produced type mobile suit that is apparently on par with the Strike Gundam. Starting out with the runners, every single runner here aside from the beam sabers and polycaps is brand new for this kit. I thought maybe the Jet Striker backpack was reused from another kit, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Along with the runners is a nice manual in English and Japanese. You also get a pretty large sheet of stickers. This is not only to add cameras and eyes to the head, but actually there are quite a few here to add some color to otherwise single color large pieces such as the wings. Speaking of stickers, I said in my last video that the stickers were small. This kit has some huge stickers, but also some of the tiniest ones I've seen so far. There's one about the size of the end of a ballpoint pen, so be careful. Fully assembled, the Windham comes with the main mobile suit, the Jet Striker backpack, a beam rifle, a shield, and two beam sabers. There are only one set of hands for this kit. The head has a nice range of motion. The arms and the shoulder pauldrons share the same joint, so they move together. The arms appear like they're double jointed, but there's actually only one joint closer to the forearm. But the range of motion on it isn't bad. The legs, however, are double jointed and there are movable thrusters on the sides, adjustable parts at the bottom of the legs, and these interesting feet that look like typical Gundam feet aside from these extra prongs that jut out from the heel. The shield can be attached to either arm and has two ball joints on it to adjust the shield's placement. There's also two sockets on the shield itself to adjust the height. The gun attaches by snapping the hand pieces over it, same with the swords. I wish there was a better grip on the beam saber hilts, but it was fine for most of the poses I set. Just be careful not to knock them loose. The jet striker attaches to the back nice and securely, but it does throw off the balance of the kit just a little bit, nothing too big. The pack can swivel up and down and has wings that fold up and down as well. You get four rockets that attach to the underside of the wings. This is a kit that I think really benefits from some panel lining. There are a lot of white and light gray pieces with details that aren't otherwise as easy to see, so I recommend using a Gundam marker at the very least. There are also a lot of vents on this guy, so a little bit of panel lining would help make these look a lot nicer. At first I wasn't sure how I felt about these big stickers you add to the wings and shield. These are to add some extra color and detail. Uh, I feel like these could have just as easily been extra pieces instead of stickers. Uh, but after I applied them, they actually don't look that bad at all. I'm pretty happy with them. So I really like the design of this guy. The blue and white and turquoise look great. And between that and the visor eyes, he kind of has a retro look to him. He doesn't quite have a V-fin because they don't connect, but I really like the overly large rabbit ear looking antennas that swoop back. I also really like the blue and white trimming on his legs and chest. You have these nice touches as tiny pieces, which just bewilders me more as to why there weren't extra pieces in the wings and shield. If I was to guess, this is probably just to cut down on the weight of the shield and the wings so that there's less balance issues. Anyway, the jetpack gives it a bit more of a realistic look with the turbines, as opposed to some of the more fanciful mobile suit designs out there. This guy's a lot of fun to pose. The Wyndham has a lot of joints and moving pieces, so you can set them in all sorts of action poses. I didn't have any trouble setting him up, no big issues with him toppling over or pieces popping out when trying to pose him. Well, actually the pieces that pop out the most are the movable ankle guards and occasionally the wrists on the arms pop out, but these are really minor issues. Otherwise this kit is really easy to set in the right pose. Overall this kit was a fun build. It took me about 3-4 hours I would say. This is definitely a simpler kit, but it's still a lot of fun. I recommend this kit to Gundam Seed fans. People like me who just like grunt units and uh, mass produce units, people who are Wyndham fans, and anyone who's just looking for a simple quick build. And that's it from me, and I'll see you next time on another Gunpla TV review. Thanks for watching.